Hi guys! I wanted to make a video about some of my favorite podcasts. I have been listening to podcasts so much. When I've been slumping on my reading, I don't feel like listening to an audiobook, so I just turn on a podcast instead. These are just recommendations of 10 different podcasts that I have been enjoying particularly recently. I will include some information on the screen for every podcast I talk about. This is just stuff that I personally like to know before I commit myself to a podcast, so I'm going to include the number of episodes so far when this video comes out, the average length of each episode, and whether a series is linear or non-linear, so like you have to listen to it in order or not. You could just pick a random episode. This isn't exactly book related, but I feel like people who like reading tend to like podcasts as well. It's storytelling and word-based. I don't know, I see a lot of overlap in them. Plus, a bunch of the podcasts I'm going to recommend have ties to literature, so let's start with those. The first podcast I want to talk about is All the Books, which is a weekly podcast about new releases. So it goes over books that are coming out every single week. The girls who host this work in the book industry. Um, I think they work for Book Riot, if that's accurate. And so they get a lot of arcs. They have read most of the books that they talk about and they're able to give really good reviews and recommendations. It just keeps you up to date in the book world in ways that I wouldn't be without this podcast. It's not a passive listening experience. It's a very active listening experience. Sometimes I like to put on podcasts and like do something else and have it in the background. This I need to listen to with my computer open or a pen and a paper in front of me because I'm writing down so many recommendations and I'm just constantly trying to find out if my library has the books or if I can find them in another way because I want to read everything they talk about. Next book related podcast I have is the Slate Audio Book Club. Each episode is focused on a specific book so I haven't listened to this extensively. I only listen to the episodes about books that I myself have read but for all the ones that I've listened to I've really enjoyed it. I've really appreciated their comments and their discussion about it. I really feel like I'm being more of an active reader. I just, I feel like I'm part of a book club and I feel like I'm having a really cool discussion with someone when I listen to this podcast. I get really excited whenever they put out an episode about a book that I have read or I'm going to read because I know that it's going to improve my reading experience so much. The next one isn't about books exactly, but it's about writing and it is Writing Excuses. So this is a podcast hosted by writers. There's a lot of them. I feel like the most famous one on this podcast is Brandon Sanderson. I found out about it because of Wesley Chu and Mary Robinette Cowell who were on a panel that I saw and they talked about this podcast. They're both on the show as well. It has very short episodes that are all geared towards specific writing problems. I kind of will just scroll through it and if they have an episode about something that I myself have had issues with, I listen to it. They give really good advice. It's very succinct, really, really good problem solving in this podcast. If you're a writer, you need it. I promise there will be something in there that will be helpful for you. The next podcast that I want to talk about is Gastropod. Gastropod is a foodie podcast and it, it talks about tons of different aspects of food and it looks at them through a mostly scientific and then also sometimes a historical lens. It's very structured and well thought out, very well executed. The hosts are super affable. They have kind of a dad humor sort of banter, which I think is hilarious. They are proper journalists. So whenever they want to tackle a topic, they are going straight to the source. They do a lot of traveling. They're talking to the experts and they are like uncovering the facts about whatever type of food that they're telling you about. I feel like I learn so much about science and it's always super fascinating. I honestly wasn't sure that I was going to like this podcast that much because I'm vegan and so like 90% of the food they talk about I would never even eat but it's super interesting just from a scientific standpoint and it's such a good balance between being really lighthearted and just charming to listen to but it's also really informative and just it's so good. I really really highly recommend that one. Next I have a couple political podcasts. The first one that I wanted to talk about is The 45th. It used to be bi-weekly but now it is weekly and it is just three women talking about the presidency and keeping me up to date with all of the goings on that are happening politically. I find it really 
helpful to listen to a political podcast and like know what I'm getting into for the next set amount of time rather than like scrolling through the internet and getting like bits and pieces all throughout the day. I like condensing it into a podcast. The hosts on this are all really smart. They have a lot of legal background so they just are very educated about a lot of different things and it's really interesting because two of the three women are Muslim and, and one is more liberal leaning and one is more conservative leaning and you kind of get to see a more balanced view. I just am always really intrigued by that dynamic, having both their voices heard on this podcast. The other political podcast that I want to talk about is a lot more lighthearted. It is Says Who, and this uh, I started listening to because it's hosted by Maureen Johnson, who's one of my favorite authors. We're going back to books now. I think Maureen is just amazing. She's so funny. I worship everything she does. I will consume any content she puts out. So obviously I've been listening to this podcast, and it's her and her friend who is a journalist of sorts, and he's also a Awesome. And they created this podcast. Uh, it's a self-described coping mechanism. So this is very politically biased, but I 100% am behind it. They created it initially to get through the election cycle, and then they realized that the stress was not going to disappear. So now it's continuing on throughout this presidency and they just uh, are trying to get through it and um, they're talking about ways to cope. They do bring on like experts to talk about different aspects of the political system which I really appreciate. It's just really funny and it's really really fun to listen to. I love their banter, I love everything that they say, and if you find politics stressful I think that it's a really good way to unwind and cope. It's a coping mechanism. <laughs> Continuing on with the author-hosted podcast, I really love Dear Hank and John, which is hosted, of course, by John Green and Hank Green of the Vlogbrothers. I've been like a really, really long time Vlogbrothers watcher, like from their first year I've been watching their videos. I find this podcast to be very refreshing because even though they've been producing content together for years and years and years, it actually involves very little interaction between them because they both post videos separately. I was actually kind of taken aback by how I don't actually get to see John and Hank as brothers just have a discussion with each other very often. Even though I've been a fan of them for a long time, I think this podcast is a really good format for them. This podcast is a letter writing advice sort of format, so people send in their problems and then John and Hank give advice to their listeners and I think they actually give really good advice. They have a lot of really good things to say and they're just fun and nice to listen to. There's just like something very comforting and calming about this podcast. I, I really like it. I would also recommend this if you have never watched their videos or you don't really know who they are but you're maybe curious about getting to know them. I think it would be a good introduction to these two. The next one I want to talk about is called Broadway Backstory. This is kind of a documentary style podcast that just takes a Broadway show and it goes back and examines how it came to be. So if you like musicals, 100% recommend this. But even if you don't like musicals, I have really, really enjoyed this just in terms of hearing about people's creative processes. I've found it really interesting to see how an end product, like a Broadway musical, you know, they're all kind of the same, but the way that they start out has always been so different. It's very, very professionally put together. They get interviews from all the people that were involved and it's just super, super well done. Season one has ended and I know they're making a season two. I'm really excited for it. It's really, really good. Next on my list is Mystery Show. I went into this thinking that it would be more about crime or supernatural mysteries or something along those lines. It's not. It's not any sort of like true crime or, or scary podcast whatsoever. Don't go into it with that mindset. What this show is about is personal mysteries. Something that has happened to you or something that you have never understood in your life and it's very small, very minor, and nobody else would care about it, but it has always been there in the back of your mind. You want to know the answer to this question. The host of this podcast finds people with those niggling questions in the back of their minds and she solves your personal mystery for you. I just found this show very 
charming and quirky. I liked the journey that the host went on with each mystery. She has a, such a fascinating way of interacting with people and having deep philosophical discussions with total strangers that I found just unlike anything I'd ever really listened to before. This show is really short. It was cancelled after one season, which is so sad because it's really good. So it's not a big time commitment at all. I highly recommend just sitting down and listening to it all in one day or something like that. The more I went along, the more I was like, this is a weird nugget of gold. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is a show that recently came out. It is S-Town, which stands for Shit Town. This is a show that I don't know how to describe because every single episode takes a wildly drastic turn and you have no idea where it's going. It's about a fascinating fascinating man. It is about this tiny shit town where everything is kind of awful. The guy who hosts it, he kind of performs like an anthropological study. He becomes one with the town. It's kind of a treasure hunt. It's slightly a murder mystery. It's a gay love story. It's just, it's everything. I don't even know how to describe this podcast. All I know is that it was addictive as all get out. I was so fascinated by it. I just listened to it all in one go. I just couldn't stop. It made me think about so many different things. It just was, I can't even describe it. <laughs> just go listen to it. Don't even look up more information about it. Just go to your podcast thing and, and get it. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say for now. If you have podcast recommendations for me, let me know. I will definitely put them on my podcast app and maybe listen to them. But sometimes I can be so bad at actually getting to podcasts that I mean to get to. But please, tell me your recommendations anyway. And if you liked this, let me know if you want me to give you another 10 recommendations because, believe me, I have more. These are just 10 that I wanted to talk about this time around. That's it for now. Goodbye. Bye.